Hey guys, Mark from MarkMatthews.com again, doing another video on the DJI Osmo Pocket Gimbal Camera. What an amazing little device this is. This thing has been in my pocket every day, all day, since I got it a week ago. Um, specifically, I'm going to get into how you can connect via cable, just to prove that it works, a classic Android device. In this case, this is a Nexus 7 tablet. So what I mean by classic is it's you know the USB uh, micro port uh, that many of them, most of the Android devices have. Um, and you can't get much more classic than the Nexus 7. This is about 2013. It's really the only Android device I have floating around the house. Now why this is even more significant for these these types of Android devices and the Android phones is they give you, uh, DJI gives you a pair of dongles. So this is the the, light, the iOS Apple dongle and you, you, know, you take it off so you can see that and you spin it around and then you grab your phone and you kind of attach it. So you, know, you really only need to do this to be clear. Some people comment on my prior video. You only need to do this to activate the phone and then, I mean, sorry, to activate the, the, the pocket, Osmo pocket. But you, don't, you, you could go and never actually attach to this again. Um, but you know, some people want to use it as a, as a large screen when they're taking shots and film to actually see it interactively. Um, my added problem with my phone, by the way, and I didn't mention this in the video, is my case was just uh, too thick. It's not even a big case. And you know, when you go to put the dongle in, it just won't get in there far enough to actually make a connection. The irony of this is I also have, or had, I sold it, the Osmo um, 2 smartphone handheld uh, uh, gimbal. Great device also, but you know, it just became walking with that also. I had to take the case off to get it in there. Alright, so to get to the point here, I dropped the cable. Um, I'm going to do this connection on the classic Android Nexus 7 USB device with a very generic Amazon Basics cable. I think it's $7.99. I'm going to put a link in the description of the, of the um, video. I'm already talking too long. Let's make this happen. All right, so here we are. We have a Google Nexus 7 device. This is a 2013 device. Um, it can only run up to Android 6.01. I think that's Marshmallow. We're, what are they at the 9 now? I'm not a big Android guy just because the family is standardized on iPhone, um, but I know enough. Um, this is the an Amazon Basics cable. So this cable I'm going to use is like a seven or eight dollar cable. Yes, there will be a link in the description of the YouTube. Um, this is this this is the USB Micro. Again, classic because the the newer Android phones have USB C and they give you the USB a dongle. This is this is the iPhone, of course. Um, so this cable is USB micro, USB-C, Amazon Basics. I'm going to pop this in. I've already downloaded Nemo. I've already logged in. As you can see, it instantly recognized that I uh, had this, that I plugged this in. Um, it popped up, but we're not totally connected yet. Looks like I jostled it. I was excited there for a second. There you go. Screen switch saying it's connected. Now we have action over here. Um, as you can see, I'm moving the camera around. Um, can I hit record with this? Oh yeah, look at that. So it went to record, I can hit record here. This is the uh, messy spare bedroom office that we have here that is too messy for me to actually fully utilize it for videos, but that'll change. Um, we can stop it here. As I mentioned, it's, it looks exactly like the iOS application. And oh, there we go, we're still disconnected. We're still connected. I'm gonna hit play there, and this will allow us to review prior videos. This is what I just recorded. Someone asked uh, on the iPhone video that I did, can you download the video? So these are MOV files, it's more of an Apple format. So uh, there is you know, an icon in the apps to download to the device. You'll get a warning on the Android saying, hey, I, I think what they're telling you is this is not a traditional Android file for, for video. I'm not an ex expert on that aspect. Um, but, you know, so I can confirm the download or cancel download and it'll copy it into the device. So that's it, it works. Link will be in the description. Um, you can, so you can get the exact same cable, dirt cheap. I really want to do this with a, with a generic cable for the iOS. Um, for some reason, it didn't come in in my delivery today. I, I got a whole bunch of things. So, hey guys, thanks for watching, and uh, keep an eye out for more on markmatthews.com.